I appreciate so much all of you sharing with me what it is you're interested in. And this is not a good angle. The angle was good, the lightning horrendous. So religion is something you ask me about. And I have not gotten into religion only a few times. And 10 years ago, I've gotten a lot into it. I've basically expressed thoughts, confusions, what have you. And the reason is that um, I am simply not interested in anything that man constructed with the mind. And I have talked about before that 10 years ago, I opened the Bible and said, God, if this is real or anything is real, speak to me. And the line that I read was, God is a spirit. I closed it. I said, this is all I want to know from now on because I had heard Listen, I'm not going to get into this, but I am interested in experiences. I am interested in hearing about other people's real experiences. I'm interested in reflecting on my own. And when I read that line, it all makes sense. Everything that happened in the past that wasn't like the stories in the Old Testament or what have you, you know, it, how, how, did it, how did it relate? So did I have experiences that I had because I'm almost as special as these people back there or what, what, what has gone on? But it's not about that at all. My experiences are mine and there are plenty of Irish negative people who have come to me and also talk to me about their experiences. Now, some of them are religious and the difference between them and those who are like, I don't know, but I want to know, is that they already have an interpretation for it. And the more the interpretation comes out, the more it moves away from the actual event. So I'm asking them, but you said this, but you said, yeah, but maybe I imagine it, and it's probably this and probably that. And the confusion that I sense in people is something that, you know, my inner antenna picks up on. I allow my inner antenna to pick up on it before I didn't allow it. You see, we have the experiences that we have, but we allow other things to overshadow it. And just now I'm actually in a process of really disconnecting from a lot of the stuff that my mother told me that was so unbelievably wrong. And, you know, it was funny because this one comedian, he tweeted something. Uh, you grow up when you understand that your mother but when I he said something like he said I finally grew up when I came to the recognition and accepted that my mother is crazy you know you can have all the warning signs in the world and see the similarity in that behavior with all of the other poster children for it, for what, you know, I don't want to say the word that he used, but isn't it sad? I cannot say anything anymore, but I got into, I, I'm now cool actually with it. I don't, you see, the one thing is that I don't like is I want to live my life. The, the, the bottom line is this, if I get in trouble over anything and I did so much of that, nobody stands up for me. Nobody. You know what I mean? And if they do, they come to me later and when they bow out and say, look, I did this, I, I'm like, shut the hell up. I don't want to know what you did. I was watching what you did. I was watching what you didn't do. So basically now I am, uh, what happened was <clears throat> that now I am hardcore facing everything in my life. And it's not easy when you have so much that has been planted in your mind or that you sort of embraced as part of your pattern. And unpattering yourself is, I think, a very, very important thing. So I got to the realization, what should I do? Who should, what should I believe in? Should, I don't believe in atheism at all, first of all. Atheism is a very, very dangerous religion. And atheism is a religion. The claim that you know there is no God is a horrible religion. It is, and I realized that I got a few years ago invited into this atheist group on Facebook by somebody I met offline who's are 
Oh, I don't know if he was. Uh, he, I think we talked about Irish negative stuff. He said, oh, maybe this group will enlighten you a little bit because they are not, okay? No, they, any question that even challenged atheism was, no, I mean, these are the most horrible. Belief-based, anything belief-based, I'm cool with belief-based people. The ones I'm cool with happen to be all RH negative. Because when it comes deep down on it, it's my intuition or my inner vibe, my energy communicating with your energy. So whatever can happen when I talk with RH negative people is that I see through myself as their reflection, their mirror is going deep, all the way deep, right? It's not like a person comes to you, well, you seem like you're sad or you seem like you're very happy or you seem like you, you seem like you, you seem low. It's like you, bam, dead on. Because I don't think RH negative people are likely to just think about something to say. It's actually probably that we don't want to say too much because we have experienced in our childhood that we have the urge to say what comes to our minds and a lot comes to our minds that are, usually people don't hear and the reaction is not always favorable it's so often that we okay never mind i'm gonna shut up now that was in my case the case you know i constantly have the urge to express whatever it is but i can't i can't and it's killing me and it would kill me maybe if I didn't have this outlet and I was able to talk with you guys. So that's pretty much my answer on that subject matter. But I don't even, uh, I think the word religion should be renamed. You see, I talked be about before how empathy, the term, should be categorized into sympathy and real empathy that very few people have. Maybe the percentage of people with empathy is like similar to the percentages of RH negatives would make sense. The ones that I've met that really, really got it all seem to be RH negative. And then there are those who are close to it, but there's always the unexpected that I throw in there, crumbling them. You know what I mean? When somebody talks about empathy, when somebody shows it or displays behaviors, associated with empathy, etc., etc. throw something in there that the person doesn't expect. Something in there. Throw something in there that really touched you. And then see the reaction. Then test them. When people talk to you about a belief system, test if they really believe it. Not by... Uh, Oh, you didn't give the homeless money person money. You're not a Christian. Not, not crap like that. But test it. You know what I mean? If, if there's somebody in your life that has planted a seed into your mind. I, I, when I was 40, I finally found out that my mother basically said, yeah, I've been BSing you. Oh, she didn't say it directly, but she, she contradicted so firmly things that she tried to plant into my mind. If they don't admit to it, test them, seriously. You'll be surprised what you may learn. And then I'm not done yet. Or am I? Yeah, there are a lot of other things on my mind, and I'll get into them.